Hey, welcome back to the shop. Just finishing up those 10 resin maps that I got an order for. So I had talked about the road projects that I've been doing, and recently I built a built-in barbecue for another young guy. I really have to do something about this noise from the swamp cooler, but that's coming soon. This is our blank canvas. Set up a little bench here so we could mass produce all our studs for our countertop. And this is how we're gonna build it. Eventually, we're gonna wrap it with hardy board. And here's the time lapse of day one. So this is as far as we got that day. And tomorrow we're hoping to get all the sheet metal work done. And here's that time lapse. And we did get all the sheet metal work done. Got some electrical run in there. Got both the posts set. Goals for tomorrow. Get it completely wrapped and start forming up for the concrete countertop. We are repurposing the old mobile barbecue and we're cutting the legs off to put the trigger on a countertop. Then all the doors showed up and we mounted all the doors and drawers and all the appliances. We accomplished way more than we ever expected to on this day. And boom, day three, done. Everything's wrapped, doors are in, appliances are in. Let's form some countertops. To form the countertops, I scabbed a two by four all the way around to give us a lip so the stone would fit underneath it. and screwed some two by fours on the outside of that and made the forms all the way around. Put a little rebar in there so the uh, dancing ladies would have enough support on the cantilever. So we poured all the concrete out of five gallon buckets, which we did in a little portable mixer. Was a little soupy, but eventually got to finish it off nice and smooth. And the young guy's gonna polish it out with diamond pads Give it a custom stain and seal, make it look like stone almost. And now, the forming and the pouring of the concrete. The best idea we had in three days was finally to put an easy up over this. It had been 103 degrees every day and this probably brought the temperature down oh, about 10 degrees and it made it much easier to finish the concrete. Time to strip the forms and clean it up. All cleaned up and ready for some stone veneer. I took a few days off from the project during that time, the young guy polished the concrete and then he started the stonework. Fortunately for me, I got to come back and help him complete the stone. Until we actually ran out of stone. But that gave me the time to hand jack a bunch of lumber to the backyard so we could start the roof. So since this was before we got the easy up, we waited till the evening to wrap all the posts, set all the headers, all the cross braces, so we were all ready to go to start the roof the next day.
we had completed this well ahead of schedule, so we decided might as well put the corrugated roof on. Got to be careful doing corrugated roof. So shiny, you could put an eye out with that thing. Ta-da! Still have a couple little things to do, but my job here is done. Blends in perfect with the existing patio cover. So there's one thing I learned about that barbecue build. I'm getting too old for that stuff. So the barbecue build was actually really satisfying. Hope you liked it. If you get a chance, like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.